Brian Adams, The Best of Me, a compilation CD I got from a charity shop. Brian Adams appeared at a time when my mind had been poisoned by music biz types and the new musical express. I could see no use for him, like going back to spam when we had become accustomed to steak. He was a utilitarian rock star, no frills, no image, he fitted no category. He just had these stadium friendly pop rock songs like Summer of 69 and Run To You. It was like Springsteen had discovered how to write simple pop songs when he had the energy of just starting out, rather than waiting till his fifth album. Brian Adams rapidly became massive, but he also became part of the background noise to my life. I am sure being at a Brian Adams gig would have been immense fist pumping lighters in the air fun. It was not really heavy rock, it was not punk, but to me it sounded a bit like Bon Jovi meets Green Day. In a strange way it was not cool to like Brian Adams, but neither was it cool to diss him. But then there was that Robin Hood theme, everything I do, I do it for you, and the nation never needed to hear Brian Adams ever again. But then I was charmed by, of all things, a duet with a Spice Girl. Luckily it was the one that can sing. Baby When You're Gone gave me a bit of a Mel C crush. I think I read somewhere that another female singer did the duet in the States, so I checked it was Mel C before buying this disc even though I only paid a pound for it. I felt it would have been disloyal to buy it had she not been on it. In my world, Mel C is a national treasure, just as I imagine Brian Adams is in Canada. Brian Adams, the best of me.